what's going on <clears throat> this is dan from dan permaculture all right in in this video we're going to be talking about daikon radishes yeah today we will check out how to to grow the daikon radish and actually harvesting what we're looking at here is all daikon radish right here give you how beautiful the plant is actually you know, and what I actually found out is the daikon radish, radish seems to actually grow pretty good in zone 9. It's, it grows fast, you know, and it seems to tolerate, you know, the, the hot, the hot, the 80s. Because I planted these in, what, late October? And it was still in the 80s, you know, and, you know everything seems to be looking extremely good you know the daikon radish actually take about i think 40 days to act to mature yeah so what it is to mature so let's get in there and harvest some daikon radish yeah so if you if you look right here this is a daikon radish that's actually ready to uh, uh, this is weed let me say this that's weed. Let's get that out. Yeah, but you could see the, the radish right here. And you know, daikon radish can get extremely big. So you want to kind of harvest it before it, 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 you know, it stays in the ground too long. Because if it do stay in the ground too long, it's going to have that pungent taste. You know, that sharp, a real sharp taste. And you really want it to have a more smoother, sweeter taste. You know, so... I think this is about the perfect time to, to harvest this right now. And not only does the radishes edible, I'm gonna be cooking the greens as well. And there's multiple ways you could actually cook the daikon radish. But, you know, I'll, I'll get into that as the video go on. But one of the thing with the daikon radish is, you know, do not add a lot of nitrogen any root crop you don't want to be adding a lot of nitrogen to your soil as for my soil here you know i didn't add nothing to this and just compost you know just compost you know, and that was it yeah and look at it looking extremely good so let's harvest this and see how it is all right so all we're gonna do is just pull it up okay look at the size of this guys <laughs> so it's like a perfect radish It's another good, good, nice radish. Looks extremely good. <laughs> easy. It's a very easy to grow a radish, guys. You know, so you all should add this to your garden turn around crop 40 days ready to harvest yeah so yeah i'm only harvesting what i need today because I'm going to be using these to, you know, saute, you know, and I'm going to saute the green separate as well. Yeah. You know, as you see over there, I'm actually growing it in a raised bed, but you could actually grow them in containers as well. You know, I did, I direct sow the seeds, as I said, took what, 40 could take 40, 40 something days to actually mature. I planted these late October 
and just, just look at the size yeah so i'm gonna wash i may do another video uh preparing you know like cooking the daikon radishes but there are so many ways you could cook daikon radishes it's it's endless what you could actually do with these radishes yeah some of the ways you know I, let me just give you a quick rundown you could make fries with the daikon radish you could put it in soup it could be roasted it could be pickled you know it's endless what you could do with this you know and you get in a good yield from a 40 day crop so i'm harvesting this today maybe another two three days i come back and harvest more again you know but that's it a very easy crop to grow and as i say make sure the soil i, I grew mine in only compost no fertilizer just plain compost just grow it in some compost grow it in a container you know so this is the daikon radish Uh, yeah YouTube so you know I hope you enjoy that video that you know it's a few tips on how to grow your daikon radish and let me tell you guys this is my first time growing these radishes very easy to grow there's not no sign all I'm just get some compost good compost drop your seeds Make sure the container have, if you're going to grow in a container, make sure it have the roots could go down. Now I grew mine in a raised bed or a sand here is loomy, so it's going to go right through the soil. And another thing with daikon radish is great for the soil because it's actually, when it go, goes down in the soil, it aerates the soil even more. So, you know, everything grows great. All right, so thank you so much for watching. One love.